What's up guys? Welcome back to Clever. I'm your girl Jocelyn Davis and today I am super excited to be hanging out for the first time ever with Nathan Parsons. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good to be here. So it's not very often. Actually, as I sit here and think about it, I don't think we've ever had someone who's on two massively huge <laughs> shows at the same time in the studio. What does that feel like? It's it, it's exhausting more than <laughs> anything. You know, I, I, I got the originals first. I got oh, that. I shot okay. that back in December was when I started that. And then I was on my Christmas break and I had to fly to LA to audition for True Blood. Found out two days later I had the True Blood job. So I had to fly back to Austin, pick up my dog, grab my car, drive out to LA and I started working immediately. And then from there it was every other day flying back and forth, red eye flights. You, you and I were talking before we started shooting about Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. The fans of this show are unlike yeah. any other. Yeah. What's it been like to be welcomed into that world? It's really great. Uh, you know, I was being a recast. I was a little hesitant as to how I'd be responded to and you know A lot of people loved Luke and the work he did and I watched season six and I watched what he did because I wanted to honor what he had brought to the character as well as try and kind of bring it into its new era so The response was great. I was really really surprised and I was really pleased and uh, yeah, they're an amazing fan and then of course, we're just days away from not only the season finale, but the series finale, which is hard to believe. How, what do you think, or what do you hope the fans will feel when they see the final episode? I mean, do you even know what happened? Because sometimes actors yeah. are like, so you know. Yeah, we were. I remember the final table read, you know, half the people were crying in there, because we still had a month of shooting. But yeah, <laughs> you know, but it's like did. they're fam, you know, you're like family at yeah, that point, we've really. Been together. They all had kids together, they all, you They know. got married to each yeah, other. exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. So it's a really, really close-knit group, and it is like a giant family reunion every time you go to work. Um, so people were crying in there, and reading it, I think he nailed it. And uh, I think it, this show, seven years is a crazy long time and this has been a crazy seven years but I think it ends beautifully and it ends just like it needs to who dies anyone please say no one I can't just tell ask you. I just I gotta ask tell you. Point I, can't, <laughs> I can't tell you well this had to be such a cool experience for you as an actor mm -hmm. and having the opportunity to even learn from just watching some of these people yeah. what were you surprised that you learned or that you're gonna take away from this experience um well I mean the dedication that these guys have you know to play these same characters so beautifully and gracefully for seven years and and how all these characters have changed and grown and, and uh, you know, just that, that dedication was really inspiring to me. Well, we're excited too, August 24th. But we've also got to talk about the originals, which yeah. such an interesting thing for you career-wise. Here you're on a show that's ending and then you're on a show that's just kicking off, except yeah. such a fascinating situation with the cast because so many of them were on the Vampire Diaries. Yeah. Um, what's yeah. that experience been like, being oh, at the start fantastic. of a show? The thing that I thought was cool about that was because it's a new show and because I'm playing a werewolf on that show, uh, True Blood, or I'm sorry, The Vampire Diaries hasn't really um, explored the werewolf side of it yet. Right, that culture, or folklore, whatever yeah. you want to call and it. Yeah, and so it's kind of new territory. and what I was able to do going in was sort of have some input at least in terms of where I thought this werewolf side oh, of it really? was Oh really? That's go. cool. Um, so it's been really cool to be sort of at the genesis of a new world as well as, mm -hmm. as you know, take one to the end. Yeah. You know, sort of start this new, new mythology. So you're going to be back for season two because you have to be back. I know <laughs> Julie Pleck has gone on the record to say that the season is going to kick off with like a werewolf occupation. Mm -hmm. Obviously now we know that Haley's a hybrid. So mm -hmm. what yeah. is that going to mean for the betrothal between Jackson and Haley? Is it well, still on or is it like, sorry, we're yeah, done? Yeah, you know, I don't know how they're going to go with that. Um, it does definitely change his things, okay. you know, because there's, there's a deep seated hatred between werewolves and vampires on that show. And, uh, you know, now that Haley was kind of this werewolf princess in a way, now she's half the bad side. I mean, she's half bad yeah. guy now in, in a werewolf's mind. So it's going to be interesting to see how we can toy with that and play with it. I love the show. I think it's awesome. And, you know, sometimes with spinoffs, people are really skeptical. Yeah. But I think the original is totally standing on its own two yeah. feet. I agree. I, I think... You know, you're, you're always you always kind of take a spin off with a grain of salt because you never know how it's going to play. But I think they they changed this one significantly enough. You know, changing the locations, the characters are all different. Plus, they have now the Vampire Diaries fans have seen 
the crazy side of of uh, Elijah and Klaus, and now you kind of get to see them take over their kind of royalty and do this. So it, it's I think they've done it really, really well. Um, well, being that you know Jackson better than anybody, mm -hmm. and that nothing in the world of the originals is as you would imagine all the time, right. um, is he all good or is there a bad side? Like, does he like Haley for the right reasons? Because I gotta look out for her. Yeah, I mean, I think we haven't really seen it yet because he's been so beaten down so far. Right. Um, but I think once push comes to shove, you know, when it comes to defending his pack and defending, he's willing to do a lot of things. And uh, you know, I don't know where he would draw the line because they're desperate now. Mm -hmm. they're, the werewolves have been pushed to the brink. They're right. at a breaking point. And uh, I'm I'm very excited to see what uh, Julie and all them have cooked up for Jackson. Okay, if you could sit with the writers and sort of brainstorm with them, mm -hmm. what would you love to see happen? I mean, obviously they're incredibly talented. They'll come yeah. up with something awesome. Yeah. But do you have any like fun ideas you'd like to see? Well, I, I mean, feel like there's something. Like yeah, something. I would love to see, I mean, just a full-blown war, you know, like a giant <laughs> Braveheart battle scene where oh, they come yeah. charging in and just tearing each other apart. <laughs> and I would love to see something like that, you know, really see that craziness come out, that animal. Because that's the thing with werewolves. They're animals. They have that wolf inside, and we haven't really gotten to see that yet. So I would love to explore that side of it more. Awesome. Yeah. Well, just the beginning. Thanks for coming by. Before you go, I read something in your bio, which you never know if it's true until okay. you ask. Okay. But are you a dancer? I was. You yeah. were? What kind of dance? I was. I did mostly tap. You uh, did not. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I was a tap dancer. Before I decided to move to LA and act on film and TV, I wanted to move to New York and be like on Broadway and do all that because my background is in theater. Okay. And uh, so I started out mostly as a dancer in, in musicals and, and a tapper. I do tap. Do you ever just tap stuff. at home for fun I by do. yourself? Well, I do, mostly when I like standing in line at the grocery store or something. I'll like be bored and just start shuffling my feet. And you know, it, it's just, <laughs> you kind of just do it. It's like becomes a habit. I don't know. Well, who knows? That could very well happen for you in the future. Be great. I'd love just to do that. Throwing it out into the universe. Yeah. I would well, love to. Thank you again for coming Absolutely. in. It's been so fun thank meeting you. you. And you guys make sure to stick with us right here at Clever for all the latest on all things entertainment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you thank later. You. Goodbye. For more scoop on the originals, click right here to see our interview with Joseph Morgan at San Diego Comic Con. And guys, don't forget to subscribe for nonstop scoop on all your favorite shows.